my mom does not want me to grow up because of my of my Bye. birthday. On our birthday, that's how we grow up and that's keeping our body safe. We're in control of ourselves today. Yes, ma'am. Um, do exactly what the teacher says if we don't know how we ask. Good. Guard pass, it's open guard pass. One of the things that I want you to pay attention to and why we do this patch, why this pass is really so important. So if you could sit down. So let's say I have De La Hiva on one side, okay? And I have whatever grip you decide to have, whether it's this, the collar, the sleeve, and I have my foot on the other hip, okay? The foot on the other hip is a real problem for him, okay? So if I can, what I'll do is I'll use this particular position to push, load him, lift, and now I can sweep him pretty easy, right? Boom, whichever way we want, right? So it's important that we get rid of that when people do it to us, okay? So come to here. So he has me in a De La Hiva. Now, again, guys, we did the De La Hiva kind of defense already, so we're not gonna like be super concerned with this, okay? It happened a lot last weekend. This was the problem with most people. Okay, so just to be clear, I can get my grip here. I want to grab the toes on this foot over the top of that big toe knuckle. Okay, this one to get rid of, I can oftentimes simply straighten and then bend back out, right, to kind of kill that. This is the one I really have to concern myself with. So I'm going to grab those toes and stuff them to his, to his butt. Okay, so I need to, to do that though, he's going to be pushing on me actively. So I'm going to step backward. Push, and then step forward and sit on that foot, okay? Now I'm gonna reach with this hand, grab his collar on the same side, and pull close, okay? Because the concept is I want his heel stuck to his butt. If I don't control his upper body, he can push on me and just move himself away, okay? And he'll extend away from me, right? Or he'll be able to move me. So I wanna sit on his foot and keep his heel close to him. So I'm going to pull up here and now I can grab this part of his knee. Okay? Now I know he's going to start kicking on me. He's going to start pushing. So when that happens, I don't want to let go of this. Okay? I'll tell you why in a second. I pull here. When he kicks me, I stuff it through. Don't let go. Now I'm going to go knee on belly but from the center, like straight through the middle. Okay? Keep this here. If I let go of this, he can bring his leg back in, put his knee here, give me problems. So I keep it here. Now, he doesn't like this. I'm gonna pull up here, it sucks. Okay, I keep a hold of that. He's gonna choose right or left, I don't care which one, go. He chooses that way, okay? So now, I'm gonna fight to get this hand across, bring this knee to the back of his head. This, okay, let me circle this way so they can all see. Okay, this knee all the way up to the behind his ear here, okay? Now I fight for this gift wrap position, okay? Notice this leg's still stuck in this guard. I don't really care, okay? It's actually gonna be beneficial to me in a second. I need to keep my chest close to him, keep my balance so he can't throw me off, okay? Now, I'm gonna lean him and pull him over my leg this way. So I'm gonna set him up and drop him back over there, okay? I don't wanna pull him on me this way, okay? So up and over this way, stay close to him, and now I have his back, and I'm close, and I can do the choke, okay? So going back in reverse, same concept, he has kind of a daily heap of fine. This is the problem foot, okay? Straight, bend, whatever, step, and then push, okay? Sit on that, sit on that foot. Pull up, grab that knee, and let him fight, okay? Now when I go and he kicks me, I stuff it between, knees dead center, pull up on him, make it hurt, make it suck. Okay, now he chooses the other side. He decides to go that way. Okay, now let's spin around so they can all see. So I'm on this side now. Boom, he still has a hold of my leg. Okay, so some people will try and pass guard like this. Right, pull up, and push down. I don't even bother. I take this grip and I swim underneath. Now if my arm's straight, I can only go so far. So I wanna point my elbow to the floor so I can go super deep. Now, if he's giving me a hard time and I feel like he's going to get up to take my back, I can either pull up here or I can push down here. So far, so good. But what I really want is I want him to come to me because I'm going to now grab here, 
bring my elbows in, bring my ear in, and choke. If oftentimes, because I'm choking, he'll freak out about this and loosen this, and then I pass, and then I choke anyway. Are we gonna send that? Clear?